All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom office uh, doing a little remodeling, a little revamping. I thought it'd be interesting to put some rifles up behind me and give you guys uh, an opportunity to see some of the cool little toys we have at the KB32 channel. All right, what are we talking about in this video? We're talking about the ATF. And while everyone is focused on what is happening right now in our country, there's some interesting things that are happening in Canada. And I received an email from a gentleman, his name is Joe, and uh, he's a Canadian, a Canuck. And right now, guys, they are under severe attack. They don't have a second amendment. They don't have that the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. What, what they do have is that they have a uh, president who unilaterally wrote an executive order to ban just pretty much every damn thing. Now, I read an article just a few minutes ago. Did you know there's more hunters than there are hockey players in Canada? Very interesting. Okay, so let's talk about this letter. And we're going to get into why we're going to bring the ATF into this conversation. So you've, you've reported about what happened in Canada concerning the common firearms being banned. I live in Canada, close to the U.S. border, so I hunt and compete in the U.S., in the past, and I've just added that in there, I need to file an ATF 6 NIA 5330.3D to temporarily import my firearms. Boom, right here. I filed an application renewal and it was returned without action. It was returned because the ATF, I have four non importable firearms. Now, while we're at it, let's go ahead. I want to show you something. So, this is a picture of that application. Now, what they sent him was this guy right here. This is the Dear Non Immigrant Alien. I want to see what kind of spaceship you have. Uh, your application is being returned without action for the following reasons noted by the X. Now, if you look down here at the X, this is what it says. Other discrepancies. The two Aero Precision X-15, the Springfield M1A, and the Ruger Mini-14 are all non-importables. Now, I'm not a lawyer on imports or things like that, but if you guys know a specific reason why these things can't be imported, please let me know. ATF, there you go. And if you want to see that video about the ATF guy getting uh, tased, I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, they got a copyright thing all over it, and I'm not going to bother with it, but uh, it is pretty interesting. It is the entire video. And understand the same guy, Burke, well, they got busted his ass trying to steal wine. From like a Kroger or whatever it is. All right. So in any case, discrepancies. The two Aero Precision X-15, the Springfield M1A, and a Ruger Mini-14 are all non-importable. It's kind of funny to me, but Aero Precision, aren't they kind of made in USA and so is the Springfield? So in any case, we're talking about that. And then we move into this whole thing. Uh, these are the same firearms I that are now included in the May 1st, 2020 ban. All right, he also says these four firearms were all previously imported, including two since the inception of the import program back, uh, dated back to 2001. Uh, also, in case you are not aware, IBM Corporation won the bid for confiscating our firearms. This indicates that Biden-Harris will probably go through with banning imports of firearms. Thanks, Joe, for sending this in. Now, let's talk about this. I pulled this up from the gunblog.com. Canada or CA. IBM wins a uh, contract to work on mass gun confiscation. They went ahead and won the RFP to figure out how to process payments to individuals for their recently confiscated firearm. IBM joins the Liberals and Royal Canadian Mounted Police in working to take away precious belongings from hundreds of thousands of people among Canada's 2.2 million federally licensed firearm users and 4,500 firearm businesses. I want to throw up when I see something like that. But I will guarantee you this, ladies and gentlemen, this goes through, and what will happen is they'll see how easy it is. To, oh, people just turn them in for their money. 
Guys, it's absolutely disgusting what is happening in Canada right now. They're enabling a handful of liberal politicians to crack down on honest citizens as the federal government and the federal police work to weaken individuals, hurt the firearm industry, and kill modern shooting sports. I'm happy that we have as much lobby groups, as many lobby groups as we do here in the States. And we do have our Second Amendment. And when these jackasses sit there, oh, they're not going to come after your guns. Guys, you just wait and see. I'm not trying to trample up fear or anything. But when I see stuff like this, as individuals are now trying to get their firearms across the border, and basically, let's just say what it is. Uh, yeah, the Canadians, I feel for you guys. Joe, thank you so much. Keep us up, keep us informed of what's going on because I'd like to do a little bit more research on this and figure out if there is an actual ban on importation, just even temporary importation for sporting use. Uh, and this is not importing a batch of guns where you have to use an importer. This is a guy just trying to go hunting or shooting competition. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. There's a beautiful reason why we have this thing called the Second Amendment. It shall not be infringed doesn't mean Joe going, hey, get a shotgun. Or that idiot, what's her name? Tamale? Uh, whatever. She's over there thinking that she's going to take over the world with her anti-gun laws. We will not let this happen. Guys, Code Boy 32, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free, especially when you have to fight. For our Constitution and our Bill of Rights, as it was written by our founding fathers, the Second Amendment is there because the First Amendment is very important and the First Amendment is going away very quickly because if you have something to say and it doesn't fit their agenda, then your big tech, they're going to kick it out. Kick, kick, kick it out. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.